on this video we are going to make a caliper brake caliper for this rotor disc so to start we have to get the dimension of the rotor disc so the dimension we have 288 on the outer dimension so we use this one in our sketch of our caliper okay So now I create a sketch, okay? So this is, I will edit the sketch, right? We close process one, then edit sketch. All right, so this is the sketch that we do. And then we have 288. So this will be the outer diameter of our rotor disc. So in order for me to bring in this picture, I use the sketch tools, okay? And then sketch tools, you go a sketch picture, sketch picture, then double click this one. Okay, so it will be inserted like this. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to rotate because it is uh, on this position. So, we are going to put this 90 degree so that it is easier for us to draw. From there, we are going to drag the edge, okay so that it become small we drag the corner to make it small all right and then we position it here until they are perfectly aligned okay so we adjust until the diameter now the diameter of the rotor disc is already there and then the brembo is already there okay so everything is done already so once it's okay then click check all right so this is the first one that i inserted just now so this we can just delete this one okay check all right okay so it okay now check so now we have already the rotor disc okay the next thing to do now we have to sketch all right so close okay so edit sketch so this is the sketch that we do okay we have to get the profile of our rotor disc okay i make it closer so that you see so i make the profile it doesn't mean that you have to follow exactly the same okay because this one i move already so it should be exactly the same if you want you can just double click this one and then you adjust a bit all right close then edit sketch okay so once it's done the sketch we are going to extrude both okay we close and then extrude both all right once it's ready extrude both okay we edit the extrude both so this is our extrude boss all right so you can see when we do this we put 20 mm blind check all right so it's a solid like this i only retain the hole you notice the hole there so once done we are going to make another extrude boss all right so the sketch will be this is my sketch. So I draw three circle. Okay. So the three circle will be used as the piston. All right.
so we can close all right just leave that one then we edit the boss okay we extrude boss this is now i clear this selection and then i want to select this area this area this area this area this area and this area all right check okay it's already extrude boss After doing the extrude boss so it will be look like this now we are going to fill it the three edges of the cylinder okay so our pilot will be 10 mm okay so all the three is 10 mm right so after that we are going to draw this design okay so our sketch will be like this so how do we know the sketch because of we have to show the edit so we follow the contour of the Brembo caliper but when I extrude I only select this area I separate this area okay check all right so in the next I do the extrude boost on the next one I extrude boost this one but when I extrude boost I unmerge okay I make a separate body so that when I chamfer it will not affect the body of the caliper okay check so now I chamfer because I chamfer first this area right so the chamfer is 20 by 51 degree right so check and then I chamfer also the next one okay so again the chamfer so you got your distance of 20 and 51 degree okay check and then I chamfer the middle okay so our, my chamfer here is distance of 7 and 70 these two edges right I do first these two edges check okay after that I chamfer the remaining one so this one I put 27 and 28 degrees on the chamfer right and then I chamfer again this side okay so similarly I put 20 and 53 degrees okay check and then I also jumper the other side here. Okay. Edit 20 and 53. The jumper. Right. So once jumper, it will be like this. So I put some filleting. Okay. On the base. And then I extrude both. I design the Rambo, okay, check. How do they I do the sketch? Alright, you just make it transparent and then you're going to normal to okay. Just follow the letter only. Okay, just sketch. After sketching the letter and then I extrude boost. Okay. And then it become like this bramble so it's an extruded so after that right we extrude both so this is the for the bleeder screw right so i sketch on this piece on hexagon I look for the flat face over here and sketch the hexagon okay and then I extrude extrude it by 6 mm okay check so it looks like this and then I sketch 
make a sweep okay i might i have this is sketch all right so i sketch on this front plane two circle which will i use as the pipe for the uh pitting all right so after that uh, i sketch a 3d sketch so connecting the center of my circle here which is the whole of the hexagon and then i can draw a 3d sketch connecting the two after that i swept both so this is already swept both to perform the swept both okay sketch seven is my circle over here okay we can delete clear so that you can see how it's done so on the sketch profile i select this sketch okay and then the guide i select this 3d sketch and then check all right so done so next that we did is on the other side okay so edit all right so i drew a hexagon also on the flat face on this area right the flat face is this part okay i show you the flat face so this part i sketch over here right and then i draw the hexagon and then extrude both so after that okay i draw a circle on the face and then extrude boost so edit so i put eight millimeter sketch on the surface and then extrude boost by 3 mm and then i sketch again on the face and extrude boost by okay i draw a bigger circle bigger than the base right and then extra i click this one and i put 18 degree tapered so it become tapered like this okay so after that i peel it okay and then i sketch here sketch on the base and then i extrude cut okay so this is so sketch edit Oh, this is the extrude cut of the whole of the cylinder all right so we use the original uh, circle okay meaning to do that i close first okay so that you know this extrude cut so we edit sketch so the sketch is from the original circle on the original drawing okay so i use this one to extrude cut so the depth of the cut is i use up to surface meaning offset from surface so i select this space okay i select the base and then offset by 3 mm so meaning the cut will be have a remaining 3 mm from here here all right so check so we have the hole on the caliper okay and then sweep cut all right this sweep cut is the one that i make a hole okay so from here all right until here so the profile okay is this circle so i draw a small circle on this uh, nozzle of the bleeder screw so to show you clear selection clear selection okay so this circle on the base i click it as the profile all right and then this 3d sketch select this guide so the guide will go until to the other end of the pipe okay so check 
So 